I used to think that the simplest way to make electronic drum pads was to start with one of my homemade practice pads, like so. Cut out a couple circles of cardboard, add a couple pieces of foam on the top, like some packing foam, and then a bouncy but giving playing surface. I chose neoprene. This is a cymbal mute, and you can also use an old school mouse pad for this. So I'm just going to make this pad quickly. And for a more detailed description of exactly how to make these pads, check out my link in the description below to the video on the Kariba Surprise channel. So there is the practice pad. Now we're going to put a stopper on the back and a strap as well to mount this to my leg. First I use a neoprene base, piezo, wire that to a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack, also known as a headphone jack, and if you're looking at it like this, you're going to have the red cable to the front pin and the black cable to the back right. And then I would just cover that with some foam. tape it all off so it looks a lot nicer like this one and that was it and I thought that was the simplest way to make electronic drum pads but I was wrong in my search for piezo transducers to buy I noticed that these instrument pickups were coming up in the results so I ordered the instrument pickup and I put the instrument pickup in the center of the pad, taped it down, keep it in place. And then I just covered it with a piece of foam and some more tape. And that's it. The simplest way to make electronic drum pads. So now let's take a look at the finished pad, which I've uh, covered up these pieces with foam and I've taped it off and we'll take a listen to how it plays. So there it is, the simplest way to make electronic drum pads.